coordinating people. You know how mad that makes me. I don't like it. And I don't like maggots. And I hope I can run that. I wish we could make that a show to start right motherfucking now. Be televised. To all the people that y'all tormented and bullied online and in real life. I don't think y'all bully people in real life. It's just online, right? Maggots. Right? Online only, yeah, y'all didn't do it in real life. Just online, right? Yeah. So we only made it to what, two or three days? Y'all ever seen a four by four steel cage? Four foot by four foot with 11 people in it? Y'all should be snug in there because I guarantee all y'all maggots are skinny as fuck. Most maggots are. Keyboard warriors. Want to be bullies? Y'all don't know shit about being a bully. But you will learn. Yes, you will. God, I wish I could make that happen. And it would be so fun. Televised, too. Yeah. To everybody that y'all tormented. As long as people get to watch it. Everybody y'all fuck with. Most people wouldn't have the heart. Or the stomach to watch the full seven days, but I guarantee I will watch all fucking seven days. I don't like people like y'all. I don't like maggots. For anybody just joining in, maggots are fucking trolls, but trolls are beautiful creatures that lives under bridges with beautiful hair, so they're fucking flies. They just fly around like little pussies, like flies or pussies. Then they turn into maggots. And that's what we're dealing with right here. A bunch of fucking maggots that get their rock hard and soft by fucking making people upset and ruining people's lives and making people feel like shit when they're having a good time and saying a lot of negative shit. You must have had a bad upbringing. You must have had a bad mother that probably beat the shit out of you with switches. Your father probably fucking beat the fuck out of you. That's why you like to torment people. Is that right, maggots? Now, I'm going to go to the store here in a minute because I'm feeding for a fucking cigarette. But this will continue, maggots, because I got so much more shit to say. Hey, any of y'all maggots in Pelabaria? Shelby County area? Hell, I'd take it all the way farther. Birmingham area? Anybody want to meet up? It'd be fun. Seriously, look, I'm not fucking around. Look, I am not fucking around. Any of y'all maggots would like to meet up? I swear to God, I will not be a no-show. I will be a show-show. Look, I'm willing to drive mm, pretty damn far to meet one of y'all motherfucking maggots. But you got to be 21 years or older. Seriously. I can do or say anything. I feel good now. I feel good now because I got it out of my system. Because uh, y'all maggots and y'all ain't got shit on me. I guarantee you that shit. Y'all would not want to meet me and hang out with me. I guarantee you that shit. I've been putting up with y'all motherfuckers for so long and it's time. Eat the Snickers. Shit. That's far from my fucking mind. I like to bring some dill seasoning sauce and a bag of charcoal and some lar fluid and have a cookout with some of these maggots, but they don't want to meet up. So what's up, maggots? Y'all want to have a barbecue? I know a nice pavilion that we can barbecue under. It has a built-in nice... Barbecue grill, too. It's like a big, big barbecue grill they made out of an old barrel. And it's custom built. That shit will hold like, like up to a 250 or 280 pound fucking deer. 
And I got some Del Caesar sauce never been opened, the good shit. And I can bring some knives with me, you know, to cut. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's have some fun. Let's do it. I swear to God, I'm ready to meet y'all little fucking... You fucking goddamn pieces of shit. Fucking... Oh, fucking maggots. Hey, right, let's do it. Come on, let, let me try to reach chat. Anybody live in the Birmingham area? Anybody live... I will fucking do a 90-mile radius from Pelham to have a barbecue. I bring charcoal, and I bring plenty of fucking lighter fluid. You know I'm going to bring Del Season and sauce and utensils, a sharp knife, and a fork. Okay, so anybody want to meet up? It's so hot in Birmingham. I know ain't that right, Laura. I'm trying to have a barbecue with some of these... Uh, these uh these bean bullies, aka freaking maggots, but they don't want to meet up and have a barbecue with me. God damn, I love to meet some of these bean ass son of a bitches. Hey Donna Marshall, you still cool with me? I don't think Donald Marshall likes me anymore. Hey Donald hey Donna Marshall. Let me see if she said hello to me. Hey, Donald Marshall, I'm not being mean to everybody. I'm being mean to those bullies that made me cry earlier and they put me down. They said a lot of bad shit to me. You probably missed it. Yeah, they really, they really, they really did a number on me. Uh, I hope Donna ain't one of them. Let me see if Donna said hello to me or mama. Oh, shit. I don't think, I don't think Donna likes us no more. She's gonna be so cool. Hope I don't see it. Holy shit. I didn't do, I never done nothing wrong to Donna. And when I say maggots, I'm talking about these people that make, that talk shit to me and my mom. Look, hey Donna, if you're here, ain't nothing wrong with cussing people out that talk shit about me and my mama. I just want to take them to a barbecue and bring the sharpest knives I have. With Del seasoning sauce and a lot of lighter fluid and some charcoal. Well, I don't see her saying hello. I guess she don't like. She gave up. That's how it is, man. It's like I told my mom. People, people give up on us. People, people get tired of helping. People give up on us. Fuck it. That's how it goes, man. Fuck it. <clears throat> well. I always thought Donna was a cool chick. But, like my mama said, people do give up on us. I'm a little sad, but I'd be all right. I don't know what to do next, man. I gotta charge a fucking fall up over there. It's about to go dead. I'm gonna see how much money I got. See if I got a phone, enough to get a phone card and and uh, and uh, get some food. I probably only got enough to get a phone card and maybe a pack of hammer or meat. Last I check, I had like seventy five or eighty five dollars of a little cash app. I don't know. I'm gonna just give my mom that pizza. I'm so fucking upset. I can't even fucking eat right now. I'm thinking about just going on a cleansing. I was thinking about going on a cleansing diet. That's all I ever do any goddamn way is eat. That's all I do, eat, sleep, shit. Try to be cool with people on the internet, but they treat me like shit. They make fun of my mom. I don't even say some of the shit they say. Luckily, luckily my mom don't read chat. Y'all see some of the shit. If anybody listens to me, some of the shit that they say to my mom, I don't, I don't even fucking read it. Thank God my mom don't reach out. I got banned on my main account for cussing people out that was talking shit about me and my mom. But they don't get banned, but I do. Mm. And these fuckers won't come meet me.
These little fucking maggots. They, they used to be trolls. Trolls are beautiful creatures with colorful hair that live under bridges. So they're no longer trolls. Now they're fucking maggots. They think that nobody can ever find them. These little maggots, they think nobody can ever find them. I think they're so smart. Oh, nobody can find me. I'm a fucking computer whiz. But let me tell you this, maggots. It's always somebody fucking bigger and better and smarter than you. That goes for me and everybody else. Shit. I'm not a fighter. I hate fighting. Somebody hits me in a goddamn arm. I want to cry for days. Somebody hit me in the nose. I'm out for the count. She, I can't have the pain for nothing. I don't like fighting. If I had a choice to fight or run, I run. Y'all hear me? You ever hear me? I looked through. It was nobody talking to me. That's why I threw my phone down on the fucking counter over there. Nobody's fucking talking to me. Let's see how much I got on PayPal. Me and my mom got on PayPal to catch up. See if we got enough to get a uh, $55 Ultimate Unlimited phone card where we can have a phone and live stream when we go out. Maybe we have not enough money to get a little food. I want some strawberries. It's more fruit. The vegetables, let's we'll say. This fucking phone that fires the fuck up. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm fucking angry. I'm a fucking. I'm. A, I'm so angry. I'm calm. That's a, that's scary. It's like I need a cigarette. Oh man, I feel like fucking. Oh, I can't even say it. Oh shit, I gotta calm down before I go downstairs because my mom don't like me angry so. I gotta be mellow. I wish it was a cigarette. I wish I would have dropped a cigarette at the fucking floor. I wish they delivered fucking cigarettes. I think I got some cigarette butts I can smoke. Ooh, come on, cigarette butts. Don't give a fuck us. Ooh, I think I got an old cigar in the floor in the kitchen. I should have got nicotine in it. I'm getting tired of this shit, man. Man, I'm fucking. I'm fucking. Man, I swear to God. I don't know. I feel so crazy right now. I just, it's just, I used, me and mom used to have a lot of good people that helped us out, and now nobody helps us out no more. Wait, yeah. Yeah, we had some people help us out earlier. Let me look. I figured it out. We were all anonymous. But man, but still, nobody did the phone card. It's like, hey, mama. You know, nobody got us that ultimate unlimited data phone card for straight talk for 55. I had them, they didn't even have to send no damn money. One thing they gotta do is go to Walmart.com, mama. And, uh, and they can, like, buy ultimate unlimited, uh, 4G straight talk phone card for $55. And they can get an email to their, they can get the information emailed like an e-card, it's the ultimate unlimited, uh, straight talk, it's like an e-card, it can be, like, mailed to their, uh, their fucking, uh, email, and I've been asking ever since this morning, mama, uh, only thing you gotta do is send me the number on the back where we can have service, and guess what, I, I, I check my email, I mean, I checked my messages earlier. Still, no email. Never. They still people don't like the help us no more, mama. They said, "Fuck us, fuck it." Get a job, Chris. Get a job, Chris. Get a job, Chris. Get a fucking job, Chris. These motherfuckers don't want me to work. If I work, something bad to happen. I guarantee that shit. People don't know. My mindset ain't just because, no, I don't want to work because I'm fucking lazy. No, it's a, I got a fucking attitude problem now. I'm bipolar. Somebody get too goddamn close to me, I have a fucking episode. Something bad will happen to me or him. People don't understand that goddamn shit. 
That's why I thank God whenever they fucking open back up that damn clinic where I see a psychiatrist and I mean a therapist and a psychiatrist. She says she can call me when she opened it. When it opens back up, they go help me get on disability social security and get insurance. That's where I get a little some money. That's where I don't have to bag for money no more. Because I'm getting quite frankly, I'm getting fucking tired begging for fucking money. Putting up with all this, get a job shit, get a job, hire me. I wish somebody would fucking hire me and get up in my space and breathe down. And if I have an episode, I guarantee somebody go to a goddamn hospital. They don't understand that shit, though. They don't understand me. Everybody, I had, hey, mom, out of all day today, I think I counted uh, a rough count estimate of at least, uh, fuck, 50 or more getting jobs. They just don't know my mindset. I mean, goddamn. Yeah, I would love to have a fucking job and have a paycheck every fucking Friday or Thursdays or or every other week and not have to beg for fucking money. Shit, that made me feel good as fuck, but but they think I'm fucking just doing that copy out. And then this one bitch said, I'm bipolar and I got a job, bitch. You ain't bipolar like me. You're still free, ain't you? You still, you in prison? No. Are you dead? No. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm so goddamn bipolar. If I'm in a fucking work environment and somebody fucking, uh, uh, oh man, I ain't gonna say no more. Fuck it. That bitch ain't bipolar. That bitch is a fucking fake ass bipolar. I, I can't stand it when I see these people say, I'm bipolar, I'm bipolar, I'm bipolar. I'm bipolar. Motherfucker, you bipolar, you wouldn't be able to work a fucking job. Shit. You'll fucking either get fired, or you walk out, or you end up beating the shit out of somebody, or getting your ass kicked, or vice versa, or somebody get killed. Shit. Motherfucking despises motherfuckers that, I'm bipolar, I'm bipolar. Motherfucker, I've been diagnosed when I was bipolar around 22, 23. I'm so fucked up in the head. I got a guy on disability, got a, all that shit and been getting checked since then. I'm so fucked up in the head. I couldn't even fucking go through the whole process of all those goddamn questions because I started feeling that fucking, fucking feeling come.